Hey everyone, this is KJ, and I am here to give you a tutorial on how to set up your Switch so that you can do uh, LAN battles for uh, online battles. So the reason this is sort of what we need to do is because we're trying to make sure that we don't have the game timer. So there's usually, if anybody that's played online, there's usually a 20 minute game timer, I believe it is. And so by uh, changing some settings around and then doing a couple of other things, you can actually uh, make it so that your game timer is unlimited. So uh, people won't have to feel rushed for like completing the game. There will still be a like 10 minute uh, move selection timer. So you only have a total of 10 minutes to like pick your moves and everything, but the game timer is gone. So at least that takes a lot of the stress of uh, selecting things and just like, it doesn't count the uh, animations and different things like that, that you're not going to naturally be able to turn off when playing somebody online. So that is what this is for. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go into system settings and then go down to internet settings. And you'll want to make sure that the computer that you're using is the same is connected to the same Wi-Fi as the uh, switch that you're using. So you're going to go into change settings and you want to actually change the IP address settings to manual. And this will automatically change the DNS settings to manual. And what you want to do is you want to copy um, almost everything that's on the screen. The one thing that'll change for an individual that isn't me is that you'll want to change the IP, the last two octets in the IP address, for those of you that don't number, it's just like the last six numbers will be replaced by, uh, will be replaced by numbers that are will be shown on the source page on the dock. And so what you'll do is you'll go to the source page on the, the league dock, and next to your name, you'll see a column that says IP, and the numbers there will be the last two octets that you'll use for the IP address. Um, so for example, some of them will be like 001003 or something like that. So just something of that nature. Um, and so you'll put that in as the last two octets replacing the 150.150. And other than that, everything else is the same. You just click save. So that is it for the things that need to be done on the switch. What's going on, everybody? I am back with the second half of this video. So I do want to just kind of go through these instructions here that are on this landplay.com slash install page. Um, and then I'll actually just go through and show you guys exactly what to do in the terminal. So this first step is actually the switch configuration portion that I went through. And it does explain that the last two octets in the IP address need to be random numbers. Again, those can be found on the dock. And I'll actually show you on the dock itself exactly where those can be found. So it's going to be on the source page, and it's right next to the names. So again, as you, if you remembered, mine was 150, 150. So that was just because when I was testing, I put in random numbers and everyone else's can just use zero and then whatever number that you're set to here. So that will be what you'll put in on the last octets for the IP address. And as you can see right here, they listed as XX and YY. So yeah, that, that should be fairly straightforward. The second part after you get that all squared away is to actually set up your computer. And so one thing you'll have to do on your Mac is make sure that you have Homebrew installed. And so what you'll do is you'll open a terminal and you will paste this command. There might be a couple of prompts that you have to say like yes to or whatever, but basically you just go in and this is the stock terminal, but You'll go in, you'll paste that command. I'm not going to do it just because it'll try to reinstall it and there's already a ton of stuff I have installed and whatnot. So not worth going through that. It will probably it would probably just come back and say that I already have Homebrew installed. But Homebrew in general is just a package manager for Mac 
OS. So you install homebrew and then you can install random packages using brew install package name. And in this particular case, there are a few packages that we need to install in order to make sure that we can actually connect to the LAN server. So I'm going to go back here and it actually gives us the commands brew install libpcap and libuv. There's one other one that I found that you do have to install to actually start the LAN client and that is switch LAN play. So let's go to the terminal. I use something called iterm and I've already pre preloaded up the commands. So I'm going to run these and on my computer I already have these installed so I won't really have to worry about this. It'll update homebrew but it as you can see, warning, 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 and that's because they're already installed and up to date. And so if I wanted to reinstall them, I would run brew reinstall, but I don't need to do that because they're already up to date. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to say LAN dash play. And now it wants the uh, server address. So if we go back to our Chrome tab, we can actually go to just landplay.com. And there's a bunch of different servers here. And so one thing that you have to do, it doesn't matter which server that you connect to, but you'll have to make sure that you and your opponent connect to the same server. So if I was facing somebody and we, and I connected to this join sg.net on port 11453, um, we would want to make sure that we both connect to that one. And that's actually what we'll paste in here. And so you can see this loop pcap bit, this is started up, and then you'll see that you you have some connection. And so that what that means is that the switch is now connected. So uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. One very important thing to note is that you do have to keep this uh, LAN server bit running the entire time because that's how you're actually going to be able to connect to your opponent as if you were playing a land battle and we're right next to each other so it's basically kind of like spoofing being in the same place and that allows us to then in setup for the battle select the rules that don't have any battle timer because the battle timer is usually 20 minutes so this allows us to basically specify that there's going to be just a move timer because you can't get rid of the move timer of 10 minutes and then a battle timer of unlimited time that should be about it for this video. There will be a, another video where Rick and I are actually going to go through and connect to each other. So we'll, we'll go through, we'll connect, and we'll just show what it looks like and sort of how to go about that. So thank you for watching this. I really hope this was educational and that you were able to get your Switch connected. Uh, I think that's it for this. So I'll catch you with the next video. Peace.